everyone. Get I'm in here. I'm shocked, but I will be sad because <laughs> after that performance, um, yeah. it, it, you, you can make uh, negative comments towards Canyon for not being able to adopt to the meta. Yeah, Cajal, I will dominate. That sounds like a top four mid jungle in the world. Jungle meta is very known His Rek'Sai, my LeBlanc. And uh, right now, it's Beach. not a meta where the junglers get a lot of resources, but Dumont just tried regardless because uh, if you look at that game, you get an R5, save it for that man in the jungle, and maybe that will be enough to carry over. And then, as you pointed out, alternatively, um, I don't, I don't think Dumont Kia is getting a uh, Callista new lane again either. That one is not going to be given over. Anymore. Yeah, just ban Karthus, Callista. Seems good to me. Oh, okay, we're going to ban Ari. Kind of making it I interesting right from the get go. Yeah, the uh, Karthus. I think you can save it to ban till the second rotation. I do think it's a pick that requires a appropriate draft to work with, and there's a lot of junglers that you can't really do it into. Expect Dumbo Kia to ban away to Wukong here uh, as a third ban, I guess, because yeah. here got, uh, has you to be You can also off. just pick Callista yourself. Okay, well, so four mid bans. Poppy still up, Nar still up. Yeah. On the blue side, Zeri up, Sivir up. Wukong up. I think Wukong is super high prior for Genji. They might ban Poppy, try to first pick Wukong or something, or ban Zeri, first pick Wukong, or leave Zeri open, pick Sivir into it. Callista ban is good. Um, so is it is it another Seri uh, and then a Sivir? Oh, Covid, Monka W. Um, Actually, Showmaker is really sick. Lovely. Yeah, that's. Uh, I feel you there. He's very pale as well. I mean, he has Covid. has been there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was. Uh, I feel really bad uh, for Showmaker. Uh, no, my, uh, mine was. It was. Uh, it was a rough time. Um, but he was still able to play. Uh, I feel really bad for Showmaker. That's yeah. kind of sad. So, he has uh, to play like feeling really sick. Hopefully yeah. Hopefully he'll uh, be feeling fine outside of that. As he was able to get the ban in at least. Yeah. And okay. Uh, is it a Wukong first pick? Is, is, a no is it a? So I don't think they should pick Zeri because they can just match with Sivir and then pick Tom on three. I think they I should just get Wukong and trade AD, unless they want to first pick Nar, um, because Nuguri will snatch well, Nar on 1 2, that's for sure. That combination, especially into Lahans, is just way too deadly. And you also can't pick it because uh, it's available, so it just feels. Oh, yeah, like Poppy, of course, Poppy's open. What the gets. fuck? The champion that he is I think they should just pick Nar Sivir, bundle on three, something um, like this. I, don't think you need to ban the car I think Nuguri's Nar is his best champ right now. It's like the one champ that he doesn't fucking run it on. Because Nuguri will run it if he needs to. Please pick Nar. And despite... It not working out for them previously. The high priority on the Lucian. Why, the, uh, man? Uh, Don't put Bible on Nami, man. Please. Again, He's so much better when he can actually do up things up in the game. What are we this doing? Way, what are we doing? We're going to give them champs for free? free pick. They're picking Wukong on three, I hope, here, Damon. Uh, Let's give them Zeri Nar. Is no one going to pick Nar? Uh, Who's, where's the Rip Bozo Nar pack? Is everyone, no, everyone smoking it? Not too much Both these box. tops are maining it. Renata Glass going to be ignored this time around. Was banned in game. Are they scared of Gwen? Also put, uh, ignored in game one. Look at this. This is Doran. Yeah, makes, uh, Nar main. Here he loves Bob Nar. Why can't we pick Nar? He goes from Silas is banned. That game of Karthus. Back yes. No, I, I am, Zoe Lucian. I'm, I'm so on board with this. Okay. Uh, this Viego. Is, okay. Not as exciting. Uh, no I Trundle I, I, into Poppy. One, no Wukong uh, into Poppy. To comfort, even though it's not dude, these packs, dude. The I need to, like, someone needs to pass me the fucking Damwon and Genji packs. Like, what? So reluctant to stray away, but some of the best results that we have seen, both domestically, with Sandbox comes to mind as well, um, and even internationally, oh, when... Uh, like, if they picked... Away from what is known, actually, Zeri Lulu is pretty broken. I don't really mind this too much, actually. Uh, Viego, this is what I mind a bit um, more. The Damwon pack is something I need to smoke. They're scared of Sejiwani Gwen when they blind Nar, these two teams. But even if... Even if you pick Nar, they can't play Wukong Sejiwani because they have Poppy. And even if they pick Nar, you can't play Wukong Sejiwani because you didn't want to Wukong. So like, what is the plan? Okay, Genji are looking at Ari. They're looking at Nar. Orin Ben. No Orin, no Sejiwani. They're trying to stop as much frontline as possible when they're playing Zeri. And with this, um, 
Oh, Ari's already yeah, bent. What am I smoking as well? Ari's bent. I would love for Genji to ban it out. Just go R4 Nar here. Tell you? Oh uh, my god, there's so many mid laners bent. Like. Yeah, you probably get Gwen. There's five issues. mid lane bends. Not amazing, but not the end of the world. Um, and it's going to be the Camille ban. Yeah, Nar seems like Okay, we're idea. trolling if we don't pick Nar here. We are intentionally trolling if we don't pick Nar. Like, we are solo losing the game purposefully and win trading on purpose if we're not picking Nar. Yeah, log in. Thank you. Okay, they will probably play some Gwen. Some Gwen champ with Rise, maybe. I think Rise is not bad. I think Rise with this mini mid band is pretty good. But I don't actually like Gwen Rise. I think the two together sucks. What top laner can you pick? Cannon? No. Both. Fiora? Uh, so no. The, uh, ruler comp with, uh, that smells really good. What is the pick here? Why is I don't know what the pick smiling. is. You tell me. <laughs> Gwen is the <laughs> easy answer, it's but I think the comp sucks. Happening. Gragas, maybe. No, okay. GP? GP's fine. Yeah. I, I, so Better than Gwen. Be Six and one on okay, what are we last picking mid here? Don't pick TF. No. Please don't pick TF. Oh, Showmaker looks so really sick. Lost. He's like shaking, he's pale, he's coughing. As oh my god. Showmaker now. What is going to be the pick into the rise? Rise into TF. We have seen many Victor is fine, yeah. It's a pick which into the Azir. We are... At least uh, he's smiling. Not a fan of. Oh. Remotely. And a pick that, while in terms of matching the pressure in lane will be decent when it comes to the 2v2... Okay, a lot more tamed drafts this game. Really feels like an insurance policy for Dom One, where if nothing else really works out, then you at least have a victor who can do big damage in team fights. Um, but I'm liking the insurance. I'm worried for Dom One top side. I think that Nar is so freest overall, fucking dive of their lives uh, if they can get Poppy Rice up there. Like Poppy Rice like can do so team. much early. Uh, be able to snowball either around Canyon uh, or m most likely Doc Dom and Vital, who. Uh, uh, after last game's performance, I'm sure are going to be feeling great. I like uh, Genji's draft One a bit more. One thing I will say about Damwon's comp is that they have an insane amount of mid to late game chip damage with the Victor and the Lucian calling, which yeah. we've seen. I mean, Ruler uh, on the Lucian Nami himself in the last game was almost able to just single-handedly <laughs> poke the enemy team out with his calling and the Nami, of course. And that actually looks a lot like Dorian. Nicely done. Um... But at the victor on top of that, you're getting long range lasers, you're getting a chaos storm thrown in there, and all of a sudden, you know, it's not like there's a, a Yumi on the other team. It's not going to be a whole lot of sustain, maybe for the GP, but. Hey! We'll have to wait and see someone snatch it! 5,000 euros! Get it! Probably like 45 US dollars. 45 dollars? Oh, not bad! The taxi fee. Nice. Oh, she's got the taxi <laughs> fee ready. Yeah, if it's the second series and it's going to free games, gonna need that taxi, Velda says. Yeah, as you point out, uh, I'm always going to be a fan of Zeri comps, but I do think a Gen G comp can feel a little disjointed in the early stages right, of the game. All right, put your gambas. Uh, whereas for Dom One, vote it up. Point in the bot side is Good luck, that they can summoners. Great May the odds be ever in your favor. Is able to get his pressure known in bot. Well, guys, we are ready for game number three. Huh? Just about ready to jump onto the rift. Let's see if it's as epic as the last one. Let's do it. <laughs> Good one. I see what you're doing. Oh, this is the f this is the Nami skin where you, she shows her feet, right? I I saw that. I don't know. If no, it Mystic, thanks for Prime. It was a Yordle flexing an EDG it. logo. <laughs> oh, he's crying, Showmaker. Oh, they have both have the teacup cry. Knowing that the no, it's not that skin. I thought it was that skin. Okay, Zeri, season twelve. GG, GG, it's over. Done. Pack it up. Congratulations to Gen G for winning and going on to fifteen and one. I was waiting for the, oh, the joke. We're done. Uh, we're to, to over. Yo, okay, thanks to the prime. We go home now. Yeah. Why, why are you all still watching, guys? It's well, we do have this other game here. Well, do we? We do. Look at this um, lead. We're gonna play it out, you know. 
See what happens. First strike, Victor. It's mana flow, transcendence. Someone has a lead. The game's done. Cookies. Yeah. Oh. First strike, Lucian. Or Ruler do this. Yeah, level Couple days ago. Force, uh, quite strong here. Yeah, Lucian Nami not that strong till level uh, 3. I don't think they should be trading too hard, even though they have sustain oh, uh, and Genji don't. Uh, quite hard for them to ever walk up to the lane. Wow, that will be the wave, sorry. I don't, I don't like that nickname for the sorry. bot lane. No, that's okay. We, uh... Zeralu. I don't, do you think that's better? See, I'm, I'm trying and you're just over here okay. criticizing I'm so me. I'm so no, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I am not being. I'm not being um, very, uh, very nice. As unsurprisingly, the only room here is ruler. Uh, I'm not being constructive, and I'm sorry, Veldas. It's okay. I, I will try to be better. I have a lot of pent up stress <laughs> from watching the That's for me? this game. Yeah. And uh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't rush out. Oh, that's for me. No problem. It's all good. Um, Big. I also don't have a better suggestion. I think the combination of nicknames is just not. It's not the way we need to go. We need to think of a different. Holy. Thing. Yeah, like um, bullet hell lane, right? With uh, yeah. Lucian. Yeah. Thank you. Lucian. Yeah. Wait, no. No. But Lucian view me. <laughs> yeah, this will be a slow game, that's guys. So bullet. strap yeah, in, yeah. strap on. Uh, as uh, This is the peanut special. Yeah, yeah, here's this the top time dive. it's in the top lane because nice jump. the top lane is where it's at now for the early game. Let's see what Nuggery can do here. Buckler thrown in. Nice flash. Oh, and look at this. Canyon's here. Coming. They're going to follow up for this one. Oh, Tom Nuggery knew the distance on the, the stun. Wall. They don't quite have the damage. Peanuts really nice play. Away, but Doran takes a second hit, and this is a can, can long get it? lane. There's a flash. Oh, red buff, red buff, red buff, red buff. One more Q could do it, but Peanuts here. Oh, that's so, oh, that's so cringe, man. They're so lucky. His life as the gank does not work, but at least they live for now. You'll take it as Dom and Kia, but that was very close to disaster for Gen G as Doctum going in, aggressive trade. And, uh, yeah, what the fuck is that Lucian levels, damage? Uh, this matchup becomes a whole lot less enjoyable for Lulu in particular, but oh, that was so close. Uh, Nuggery not getting slammed into the wall, Canyon. Even with the Flash off, abusers, one HP, survivors, but, uh, cringe. Still, uh, Genji lucky. Will be two kills to them one. And uh, as a result, uh, it will in fact be the I think slightly favorable trade, but both top laners uh, clearly are like, yeah, none of this matters. We just both bought call. <laughs> and yeah. um, that's and the way gonna, it goes. Yeah, it's gonna kind of ignore it. Jovi is going for a bit of a walk. Although it was spotted with a back ping on top of Chovy. Pork, let's go. Biased man. DK Cajal? Yeah, I am biased this series, so what? Way, How's draft just turned in? I want them on to win, so there's actually three teams competing for a title, not two. Uh, and if you think that's a bad thing, back, then fuck you too. Let's go, Demon. When he was alone. But I love that they are actually trying to fight this one with fire and not just get kind of pushed in and not actually be able to do much. DK and Joris, Giga Chad. As taking a look at that topside play. Nuggery um, knows Poppy Sun really well here. Really nice. He's done it. Canyon is a split second earlier. It's, uh, it's even better. Look at where he stands. Um, and He's quickly, actually pressing S, baiting yeah, Peanut to, to E him. Uh, and he knows the exact trade, distance. Uh, favorably here, or he can feel the exact distance that the stun is going to land. I got him, he said. I got him. Oh my god, how annoying is that? Oh, so close. Uh, like, oh man, that sucks. Not quite able to extend into the kills. You can tell he knows Peanut because he's standing still on purpose, waiting for Peanut to eat him. Here comes the top side play again. This is how Genji need to play it. Try to stack top waves. Nara can't contest the push because mid's missing and then there's dive. Actually, the wave sucks. It was just a little bit of threat. Um, but Doran is a freeze, so he doesn't really care yeah. about getting ganked. Uh, he just wants Nuggery to not get CS'd. That part, going very well. Yeah, just Nuggery throwing max range boomerangs to farm. It is a nice amount of respect. It's kind of what you have to do when Ryze is missing, but also you don't have any vision control. He does have the one <laughs> tri-brush ward, but Ryze can avoid that, and so can uh, 
the poppy with hex flash or a uh, plant blast plant slow plant game onions counter ganking top expecting peanut to go for this stacked wave He's not trying to look for a dive here, unless he we leveled up. Pretty nice. Didn't have damage though. This one to crash the wave. Good positioning. Good job, Canyon. Off lanes. Okay. Miss bubble. He peeled. Oh. He still has heal. Big balls. Yeah, they have cookie. Trade here, uh, overall for Gen G, as able to hold Hard to stay though. Drop they don't have info on Poppy. There, if Poppy comes, both are dead. They'll get a plate in base. So their bot lane's winning pretty hard here, Gen G. Uh, I know that Lulu well, lanes are the answer to Lucian Nami, but didn't know it went uh, like this. Showmaker is out farming Trovi. Never seen that before. So it, the stats are not great, um, and uh, the laning thus far has not been going great, and uh, not the end of the world with how Lucian has kind of evolved as a champion overall, especially with this first strike build that we have seen. Because there's a couple of moments there where if you have PTA, then the lane might look completely different, but um, not going to be the case here. We're gonna take the extra scaling into the mid to late stages of the game. Uh, over they respond with Herald. Poppy positioning sucks. And, uh, Hextech Drake at least picked up for Damon Kia. Nara just watered it, so nice <laughs> good play by Damon. They're very aware of cross maps. The only problem with warding Herald is he can't ward his own uh, tribe well, right, so nice really annoying for Nara if he has a stacking because wave. Genji do have the he has Flash and he has Mega, so he should be fine. Drake and the Rift still on the map, like in this situation, you know. When they show, he knows, and he's good. Let's see how Damon Kia respond to this, though, as everybody seems to be rotating up, but a little bit hesitating oh. as maybe looking Oak for them. some kills. Sneaky. <laughs> oh, everyone was thinking there for a sec he's gonna send it. Okay, so Genji's bot lane should know <laughs> well, this that something's happening day. topside. <laughs> you can't be funny like We're that. We're going in and the culling does some huge damage, but Canyon's not And there's something happening to topside, sorry. There. Fast response. From the bot lane of Gen Both teams are playing really careful. Only thing that's winning right now is Genji's bot. Onto it and uh, overall, uh, that is a herald for Drake. A Drake can they zone them off this wave? Canyon, he's showing mid now, so they don't. They can walk up. The place that the Genji have shown over recent times, where they take the small gold lead and uh, do some aggressive investing, uh, turning that into a big lead very, very soon. Peanut on his way now towards the bot side. Hasn't really found as much action. <laughs> Bible's uh, loving it. Yeah, fifth game in the LCK, and he is already um, just styling on Roller and Lahens. Yeah, being obnoxious Love with it. Nami. That's the dream. Peanut on his way. Watch him die immediately. <laughs> I don't think this is going to happen, though, because we do have Flash. Although that is oh, a Flash knockup by Lahens was great. From La Hens as there's the mm. and Bible I tried. Him. First blood goes over to Peanut, and now Duck Dom under the turn as well. As Rolo will pick up a kill for well, himself, bot lane's not over. to mention some more plates. UBN, and immediately what happens is Lahens flash wild A lot of sloppy play here by Damon. The fact that they can get a free Herald, and, and then get a bot gank, double kill and Herald bot in the same two minute time, <laughs> just, just means the game is lost. Oh, uh, Genji fans are going to eat that one up. Oh yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> They're going to think about that one. one for years to come. <laughs> As unsurprisingly, uh, this leads to a immense gold lead. As that dive being successful is a huge win for uh, for Genji, who get the double, then also get the first turret bot, and are now almost 3k gold up. It's game one. All over again, Valdas. Yes. This time, Genji, they got blue side as well, so yeah. the wrath of Peanut Poppy comes out again. Not to mention the Lulu engage, which is very unexpected. So we can see this happen once again. Very funny. As oh, big. Yeah, Dogdom and Kellen uh, don't seem to be too clued in on this one. Them. They do take defensive positioning here, but again. Oh, Lehens. Flash, wild Gets a double slow on both. Yeah. And then also knocks them both up as well. On the both of them. Truly Lehens showing that uh, even even with yeah, Lulu, can get it done. Look at that setup. Crazy. Let's go. Go, 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 go. 
Oh, John Mel Kozak got killed. My <laughs> my flash wild growth was insane, he, and it was. He's well, patting himself on the back immediately. Lahens was also spamming Griffin. Emo I didn't even catch. There was yeah. too much emoting <laughs> going on, Valdez. Everybody's emoting. You're gonna coach him really scene no. though. Now Doran has been left to the wolves, but this just means. So Genji have swapped plates. top. They're carrying while plates on Ruder and Solo XP, while Doctam share, while Doctam and Damwon share bot. They don't have GP ult for this wave, so it looks like Lehens is coming bot. Nugri can match top when he sees Lulu, and this is a winning position for Damwon, I think, because Drake's in 50. So if Genji overstay top here to get this tower, then I think Damwon are favored. I think Ruder will back off now though and go towards mid, and if he does, it's fine. Zary. Good play. He's very fed in this one. Mm. Even well. As Lahans Are you casting today? No. I'm not on the show today. Be a playmaker on any champion who just believe enough. Um, no matter what people might think of your choices for support champions. Yeah. They're gonna take their red and then go to Drake. You used to see it in the in the mid lane a lot, you know, where you had like damaged junglers and you would just engage on the other mid laner and try to set up yeah. ganks and stuff. And I got fired. This victor is um, definitely a victor, again, uh, as has been the case in the past. And there is a reason why we have not been the biggest fan of this champion. Feels like a lot of our games are not decided. But that one CC is so unreliable. I hate all of their CC. Um, the durability patch has made us have a lot more And they have no... That uh, part has been a rousing success, as we saw in fan. even this series a lot. But when it comes to um, truly scaling mages, they really do no medic, that great. no cedral. Uh, Finally, I can enjoy lek again. Okay, so go medic. Genji are actually giving up Drake, and they're trading for top tower on Chobi. If they're side laner gold. On the downside, Genji is probably going to stack at the very least three. Infernals, unless they make big mistakes. It's also 10 plates <laughs> to the side of Genji. Some of them picked up by Jovi, some of them, of course. The majority Yo, thanks for the 420 ruler from the bot side to the top. Hey, C Drill, I'm looking for a new career. Should I become a lorry driver? Trucking. Take it one. <laughs> so, just trying to farm it up. Just maybe we'll see that plate graphic no here, just to get a confirmation. Some trading. You okay, bro? Side, but Peanut is not he needs one creep for his cull, and then he can play. probably base for Triforce. And there it is. Ten plates. Fully taken by Gen G. Damon did get, uh, they did get five of them. Although it looks like only four of them were actually uh, taken. You know, Still the gold was 4k gold lead to Gen G. Uh, from just towers and plates. And, and the two kills in bot. Uh, that one's not out of it yet uh, because Victor Lucian can create a lot of space in fights. The Viego is just kind of a weird pick. But Genji are really favored. They have also got better side lanes, I think. Because Ryze can play to one side. There's two ways you can play with Ryze. You can play like Poppy can hover top side all game while Ryze pushes and she can cover him and then you can move mid. Or Ryze has the ability to push out top base and then Ryze ult on the enemy side laner bot and kill the Nar. So the Ryze is pretty powerful. But this feels very much akin to what we've had happen with T1 in spring, where uh, they, they stomp game one, then they're like, let's have some fun game two, and then get put behind, and then can't their way back. And then this won't freeze. I guess he's just stacking bot waves. Yeah. No, fun no, he just one-shot the wave. No so I don't know why. I guess he was no pulling it for deep ball. Let's go, man. Just focus on... Yo, remember, next nine. Focus on cross map. Focus on getting the objectives and the shove. Yeah. And uh, they're at a 4k gold lead of 15 minutes ago. And they didn't even have to ban Karthus. No? It's fine. They're like, no, you're not going to do it again. I dare you. And uh, they certainly had some more options for this game if that were to come about. Even though Damankia did have red side and potential counter pick. We did see that uh, be selected for the victor. So I hope that the victor <laughs> gets some good value in this one. Just the Lucian. As you see, Bible is desperately trying to stop this from happening. But it's happening. The mid turret will also go down. That is three turrets now for the side of Gen G. So the one of Dom one that Nuggery was able to pick up in the bottom lane. It's not a, it's not a good time, Valdas. Um, 
unfortunately, Dunlop, he has two first strikes. So just keep dragging yeah. the game out, and eventually that'll get that'll that'll get you that'll get you gold. Toby didn't go crown in this game. No, I've Luden's seen rise, so many Giga rises. Uh, it's kind of like the. You basically just go crown and then you go full damage or you know, I mean the next dragon fight will explode this game open because Genji won't give them soul points exactly they're fucking crazy moment, if they do that which is, is, yeah, the good thing is GP is not that ahead so the GP which looking isn't the scariest thing they just have to get on rise Zeri Lulu that's their targets right um, so oh, in the late game yeah, but, but Victor doesn't have any damage with this build either yes just dodge it for it why? Why would she go it's, crown it's, on Victor against guys, GP? Everyone at home, it's like it's <laughs> against GP Zeri. Is it no, worth to go crown on Victor against GP Zeri? I think he just needs Ludens. They have no backline <laughs> damage. I'm not on my best side. We got. They just have poke. See it through. I didn't, what do you think about the crown for Shumi? I didn't want to hurt your feelings. You know, I, 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 I hate for you to feel like I'm not appreciative of your jokes. I think the crown for Showmaker is good. I'm trying to connect with you, Valdez. <laughs> Because Hold he has on. to deal with the extendo beams, and that denies one. No, I actually really like the crown uh, for Showmaker, as I've completely given up again closer with my co-caster. I don't like it at all. Um, I think the amount of, of reliable poke is relatively low, and if you do actually catch I think their poke extendo is really beam high. or a late game gangplank barrel, uh, you're feeling great. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of threat there, but uh, not actually going to keep this knocked on. They like damage um, otherwise. Only. Uh, only real downside is that if you do end up getting a proc as the victor, the uh, trade-off obviously is not going to be amazing. Uh, he is going Shadow Flame though, so... Damon's going to give this Drake and just play for top tier one, I think. Crown Morello's Lich Bane victor. Which is good. Which I've seen. But they need yeah. to dive this GP. Unfortunately. I think I erased that uh, one in my mind. It's not a good time. <laughs> uh, I don't remember that one. No, that's good. Weird. That's good. As... Overall, if you can keep Dorn in the side lane and you can 4v4 as Domwon Kia, you actually do have a lot of power here. Looks like instead they uh, don't want to take the risk. <laughs> okay. Like, Wait, I was the they have to dive top. This GP is not allowed to live. Oh my god, Genji are winning both sides of the map. Guys, come top fast. This GP Lulu needs to die. Rice has no TP and he can't ignite Dorn anyone to swap back to TP. The does come in. The they still have Lulu. Nice. Kill this guy too. Kill this guy too. Really good. Genji is getting greedy as fuck. As well. It's so greedy by Genji. Really Rule number one in pro, yes, pro play. Don't make two plays at once. Shambles, if you're on Drake, give up top. See, play for mid. If you're on top tier one, give up Drake. Play for top. Mid. But if you're on Drake, you can't defend top as well. MR this is greedy as fuck. Right now of how AD heavy Rule number one is. in pro play. Um, so Unless you're 10k ahead, don't make two plays at once. On and because you're always in a numbers disadvantage. Well, a couple more waves into him. So yeah, big punish there. Two kills to, to Showmaker is really big, because he'll have Shadow Flame in base now, which is massive. But uh, Damon was really slow here. Very well. I don't know what the fuck Canyon here is. He should be on their Grump while they're hovering top here. To this GP should have got dove way earlier. Um, of him Luckily, Nugri knew, knew the play instantly. But so Nugri was already on it. And as a result, uh, kills going over the Showmaker. Now Shadow Flame done as well. This early on. Um, once you hit the free item spike as Victor, you're still going to have an incredible amount of damage. And uh, as mentioned, it's still tough. I think the amount of uh, damage that Zeri is going to output is still something that's going to be very hard for Domokia to deal with. But at least in neutral... Devon's rule in pro play never counted. Mm. Good on. Yeah, it's going to be pretty cool to see if Showmaker can actually make this work. We all saw that uh, he's not necessarily feeling too great playing from home, but he yeah, Showmaker is not feeling great. Fantastically, which is very nice to see. And if he Quite sad that Showmaker is sick. With the victor, a huge win condition for them. Cajal has a broken headset. Kind of no, story, it's a fixed headset. See, Look, you know, put the brakes on that for now because yeah. you know, still broken, Gen it's fixed. Four thousand gold in the lead with the Fed Zeri. It's and uh, Peanut, who's farming like a madman. Yeah. You're still going to feel pretty good about it all. And as you pointed out in mid-game already, uh, Canyon has been sacking CS over the Showmaker. So it truly is a return to the uh, normal play style that we've seen um, the last while. And regardless, because I, I do think that Genji, like, in a position like this, very rarely lose games. You got 
Uh, Chovy was monstrously fat as per usual. Ganymede Ape fixes everything. Is, uh, in as well. uh, Did you get further mm. the one that Kia sent uh, me is in a box still? But I'll use it when this one breaks. Look a lot better than expected because they have been truly pretty lackluster over the last couple of matches. 0 and 4 against KT and Sandbox, yeah. which are their direct competitors. So the fact that this series has been competitive in the slightest to me is a huge win, and I'll take it, Valdas, as a free absolutely. Items. I don't even think that Gen G were playing poorly. I mean, they Gen G micro and map control. The yeah, their micro map control the is insane. That Dom1 came in like a like a shark on the hunt. They're so good at juggling lanes, up that and their lane assignments were always correct. A lot with it uh, says a lot about where where this team is. Hard to how just they have prepared for this series. Um, yeah, I, I describe really it without giving examples. Well, by the way, to go back to Lucian Nami, but um, when they have their movement around lanes is really good. On this That's times. all I can say. So pay attention. Uh, yeah. One and three as a duo with Lucian Nami. Nami. Furry, four it's very rare you'll see them drop a wave. Okay. Oh, that's, how come you haven't added XDD so to the Lek chat yet? Why you do this match? I'm not the fucking owner of the EDC Twitch channel. What the hell are you talking about? Imagine that maybe they don't have the most confidence in this at this moment. Yeah, yeah, well, uh, it might also oh, find more. Go, man. Earlier, well, even though we're not seeing the results. Uh, Happy Friday. The actual games played, um, which even was Look, the case with the Calista, the Rise will push straight, out the next top wave before anything happens mid. Start really seeing what this champion was capable of. Maybe for Dom and Screams, huh? they're blasting oh. everyone with the Lucian Nami lanes and uh, just hasn't really... They'll threaten top tier two before the objective spawns. Um, a lot of uh, background information uh, that, of course, we don't have. Maybe Rise can catch another wave and TP in. Peanuts will run uh, down. Chovy gonna probably just get a free Both waves pushed out. So they actually have a second lane to play through if they want. Um, it's good what they're doing. On a, uh, maybe Drake, which is not the best of trades, because uh, the guaranteed value is uh, something that... Gen they're not just getting sucked into the Aram. A lot of regions uh, here, Chovy would have just ran mid and tried to contest uh, mid wave to get to Drake, which is fine, but contesting mid wave sometimes is completely useless. Both have oh, it, uh, like that mid wave timer baseball. when there's 50 seconds still Drake oh, oh, doesn't really matter 20. too much yeah. okay. when you can pressure top has, force Nar to show yeah. then base and TP uh, to force your way in. Right? CS most in the game. Again, this is the mid wave that matters. This one is coming one. if you want and to get yeah, mid push. Going to miss on the engage, but Pina takes a huge chunk from Showmaker. Showmaker. Again, this guy's been Drake already up, so just got to do the majority of the damage carrying here. Duck Dom has Ooh. some ability, but not quite like Showmaker. That's the crown gone. My eyes are on Peanut. If he can flash E someone or so deny Nuguri's uh, entrance. What you gotta do before you start putting in that damage. I think he can look at Lucian here. Well from the Lulu. Lucian Only looks pretty juicy. In a lot of work as it might just come down to a smite fight here. Oh, Kenny got it. Out, 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 out. That one should just get out. Disengage. Big. So that is so that one's on soul point. Infernal soul here for DK. They're still kind of they really down on gold though. Are, so they're considering it. They're not going to give up full control of this mid lane. Anyways. And now because Genji overstayed and top to play for top tier 2, Genji, two waves before popping, Drake, uh, really and Damwon was like aramming, the there, sure their side lane is bouncing, which means that all these creeps are bleeding away from Damwon, and he'll slowly push back out the Chovy who can catch it wherever, smite, and, and continue to push it out and will get stacked waves. Gold, uh, so what they did really so was really good oversight. This is how they get gold leads. Because you're bleeding creeps while they're not, because they have a lot of patience. Clinging on to this one. Which can be a bad time thing sometimes. A Infernal Storm is if Damwon had a lot of engage and they have control over here, the then it's really bad. I, I see with that because they all just engage on you as you walk really up and, and you don't have any vision. But this comp from Damwon doesn't have any engage. As long as you Canyon, mark the Nar, not being spotted here. the only thing they have is a Nami ult to go forwards. But if they had like Orn Wukong, then Genji would not be able to do this. They need to be in here a bit earlier. And it's it's not uh -oh. been a it's not been a good foreshadowing. Yeah, it's not been a good summer of smites for Canyon. Um, think back to both the series against Cuz and against uh, Croco. Yeah, who uh, largely got the better of him. He's getting them here. Yeah. And oh, exactly. Yeah. Dairy gaming. Okay, here comes here comes the train. Ng getting aggressive, but I do like how Damon are sticking in it. Especially with this Victor power as the game comes along. Yeah, the Dude, what are you talking about, Pullerman? Talk it's yeah, funny yeah, how we... people insult T1, but no one gets banned. But the second someone insults Genji, everyone's in bans. Yeah. What is this guy smoking? No, that, that, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Shut up. 
Jokes aside, we also have the crit gang That's completely Adorn untrue. Has just finished his collector is, I think, already sitting on a Lost Whisper, if I remember correctly. So it's going to be going full damage. Yeah, of course. Uh, no bruiser builds here, fortunately, and that is something that, with the relative lack of hold, hold up Canyon moving forward. I feel like Canyon is a laser setup champion. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna land the stun, and then you guys like calling and laser him. And that's that's my job. That's what I do. And maybe I can clean up because I am Diego, but somebody's got to frontline, especially when it's mini nar. As goodbye, ruler. <laughs> Bit of a weird mistake here distance. by Genji, but I think it's because Rise has no TP that they're doing this. Damakia both side waves right now really suck for Genji. Damo will just push this and should catch Dami, both sides now. Oh. Chaos Storm in. nearly takes him out. He's lucky to be alive. That one really need to catch both side lanes. Well, yep, they really um, need to catch top and bot. Uh, is definitely chunky people. Also the DPS, of course, Mininar. There's two minutes still, Drake. Can we just catch high. top nice wave, please? There by but look at this, man. They're not actually getting anything. Please and just catch sides. Keep up this mid push. Behind. It's useless. You have no so tier two. All of this has been uh, mainly to make sure that uh, Gen didn't get. Gen G should force Nash right now. As, uh, Shomek, because be as they go to sides, they could just force a Baron and get his TP when, it when it's when it's up again. If he's go into death cap next, when that item's finished, truly they could start Baron, but who's gonna have the most fun? Is it looks Rulo? like they're not gonna do it. Point, There's no victor ult, so it's really doable. Or is it going to be the victor as Genji, yeah, they still haven't called bot wave, so Genji will force. It's good. Make Dom Monkia do something because you have a massive gold lead. They also didn't answer top very well. You can see the pokes coming out, even the extendo beam as well. That's gone. But Damaki are trying to get in here, but Canyon is nowhere near. They just want to take the fight. Really good play over waves. Of this tidal wave not going to do too much. Only cancers the hands calling, coming in. Genji trying to back. They into need to a get in there somehow. Spot. That one. Brown value. They can't let them get out with Baron. Oh, here it goes. Everyone in. Down here, as you see. Oh, Pina's Lucian is not to fucking the freak of freaks, man. They Canyon can't fight. On the run. And that's yeah, free Baron and they're out. They need to set up Dragon now. Yep, that's gonna be it. Down wing the base, fast, <laughs> push out bot, <laughs> sprint down, set up vision. Lock time is late already. They get the Baron a red buff, but it's understandable. And it's gonna be very hard for Dom and Kia to like rush a Drake here, because Drake up in 40 seconds. Push out bot fast. More than enough time available here, especially with Chosen push, push, push. in mid for them to in, still in, take in, 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 Drake pit. So they're not even trading a Baron for a possible soul. There's nothing to up. trade this Dragon Dom for for, for Dom like, Okay, well, uh, they that's just it. And now we sit in our base. And have to fight and wait um and as i say that they move out so they definitely are gonna look but getting prio in mid when the enemy's baron buff is uh an exercise in futility yeah unfortunately so they need a completely bonkers fight uh nuggery getting multiple people into the wall with nice it's good so far now they see vision in this bush nice there's the pink nice poppy no e okay, this is good they're getting in nice killed the barrel this is all going perfect for them to get in they'll probably still lose the fight but they can actually poke their way in now not much value. Lugri's mega is going to wear out. Doran's just kiting it. For the team. No He's flash on Doran, though. Oh, he missed the stun. But not able to land the wallop as him and Showmaker are just on a 2v1. Doran's dead. 4v5. Can he get it? Oh, he's too late. Oh, he was so late. He has to flash out. No, he doesn't have to flash out. Genji has to run. 4v5. They should play this really slow here. Oh, no, the rise ult. Oh, if Canyon got the Drake, they would probably win the game. But at the end of the day, Genji, they pick up another Drake. Oh, tough one to see who that favors. Because um, the Drake picked up for Gen.G does provide him with a lot of They'll value. They'll get mid tier one now. That's good. No objective goes, bounties. Weird champ. He's going to feel uh, pretty decent about it because the gold lead for Gen.G is going to mean less and less and becomes more about the execution in fights. And Doran thus far on the Gangplank has barely been able to do anything. As well. This is getting pretty tricky. I feel like Domon are almost being baited into hey. this, although Trovi, as we can see, is not very... Canyon's tanky. level 12. Look like oh the my rest good of god. Genji actually expected them to stay, so... Oh, great. Not That's great. Not much. Trovi has to flash, which is not great. Thanks for that him. little back massage. At least has a spell book available to get somewhat of a trade, but it's again um, the Mininar that is actually the real problem as Doran gets flashed on, but able to stay alive for a little longer. kind of misplayed that a bit, but... One they got the play in. Ah, if Canyon got the Drake, this was still sucks. A flip. If Canyon is a split second earlier on a heartbreak and steals that Drake, that that is disaster. Yeah, they uh, they barely are unable. If they get Peanut here as well, like they're turning that into multiple turrets, possibly even an inip. Three thanks for the prime. As Canyon walks in, sees Peanut. Lucian needs. Why does Lucian have a shutdown? Goodbye. 
How in any universe does it make sense that Lucian has a shutdown? He's 0 1 0, down 60 CS, down a level. And his team's down 6k. And he has a shutdown. Why? Oh, it's gone again. Okay, it's gone. Oh, no, it's back! And they just got a top tier. Why does Lucian have a shutdown? Oh, it's gone. Huh? What is happening? And so now I think we're just gonna wait for the next Baron. Hey, there's also next Infernal Drake. Yeah, but the Baron comes first. No, I know, but maybe we can do both. Yeah, I'm down. At the same time. Yeah, I'm down for that. Uh, oh, it's back! One needlessly large rod, not done for Showmaker. Doctor, I'm gonna get closer huh? and closer oh, it's gone. Uh, to his Infinity What the well. fuck, man? Actually, going to become a, uh, a really interesting one, Valdas. Um, I still feel he needs like top wave for IE. I think he's calling Nuguri to call him so he can push out top and get IE, but they're gonna collapse on him, I think. I, Mamma Mia, I need to run. like a very close game, and I think Gen G are making a great call by actually respecting their opponents the way they're doing here. Because Domon Kia has shown that they can at the very least match them at their level. Um, but it's still ruler on the bad zero. As uh, we can see there, Extendo Beam, not feeling very fun and interactive mm -hmm. for Kia. Yeah. Oh no, I hope the ads don't run. From I'm trying Lord to stop them. Have to go into the Lord Dominix, based on what he's going into, a lot of squishies, just has GA and QSS. <laughs> so, good luck. Uh, killing Ruler with double summoners and double defensive items, plus a Lulu. Yeah. See how that goes for you. Uh, um, I don't think it does. It doesn't go. No. Okay, Lucian is Stay fucking home. strong. <laughs> and you, and you're like, if you get ads, today, I'm sorry. Outside, but like, I can't stop them right now. No, they will auto tonight. run sometime yeah, in the next sick, you know? 10 yeah. minutes, I think. So if okay, it's. Well, oh shit, stop them. That's, a, that's a lot of damage. damage. Wait, so did Canyon just stop watch the rise combo? I guess that's one way to handle it. And the rain? Yeah, that was just Duck Dom, and he's only level 14. So. Not bad. That is. But it was 30. close to being something. The barrels nearly able to chain in there. Yep. And we uh, we seeing the, the true bullet hell game being played here by uh, Domokia. Dodge all the barrels. Um, oh. Yeah. And and the extendo beams, which that, that part's not going great. And don't. Yeah. This get area is a small problem. Domokia though, currently uh, they they should know that the oh, let's go over man. there. Bit of a flank a Rooney. Oh yeah, my god, stop Terry. They have dragon though, positioning, but Genji have Baron important. positioning. Where are they rise ulting? As Genji say, yeah, let's just take Baron. Uh, oh, he fucked it up. Right he spot. fucked it up. <laughs> Damon, no, not oh my god, there. he fucked up the fucking well, portal. Damon can keep hold of mid air if they can keep control. Yeah, uh, it's all about this mid skirmish now. As Ruler takes a big chunk. They need to get on Nash. They just use Victor ult. They have to rush it. So great, actually. Showmaker has they have to flash. go into the stopwatch, but he does. They need to rush Drake. They need to rush Drake. Here, but I mean, got this oh, Showmaker's dead. Showmaker Is it over? Caught out. Not able to escape the engage from Genji. It might be over. No, it's not. They can now just I give Drake. It's not the end of the world. Kind of have to give this one up. Although it does not feel good. Ruler's going in. Now he's going out. They will take down their third oh. Infernal. Oh. Yeah, this is the problem with this they have so much damage, Genji. Genji so Can they they can't get Nash, so the game's not over. So much damage. Lucian has a shutdown again. Check the replay, like <gasps> how low the health bars are for Genji. But unfortunately for Damon Kia, they're not actually able to capitalize on it at all. Right? Like this Chaos Storm. Combined with one laser, like, that's so much of the health gone. But really then, nice barrel. Uh, there is just too much threat. Like Kanye can't really walk up. He gets two tapped. Nagari gets completely zoned over by Chovy, so he can't join as the frontliner. And they're also fighting in an open space, so it makes it very hard for not to find real value. And Baron not really available due to show. Oh, Zeri! Ruler, Zeri's coming in. She hasn't quite had her moment in this game, Zeri. so she wants to create one. That's going to be the end of Bible. <laughs> As the rest of the Gen G cavalry kind of coming in here with this Realm Warp, not going to commit to a push though. So they catch the Nami. And they're not going to find Canyon though. So with their insane Baron damage that they have, they could just rush it down. Yeah, they're going to force considering it. Considering that at this moment in time. It's Ruler, yeah, he's just going to do Big it a little peanut, it looks like. 
Yeah, might as well. Canyon doesn't have a ward. Right None now. of them have a ward. Not really oh, he's just flashing ones. on Lulu. Canyon? A Lulu. Not oh, really Doran's dead. Out, but they do take out the crit gangplank, but now everybody is baited into oh. the fight. Where's Jody? I guess Shomaker didn't have stopwatch. Get that down. Zeri oh, inbound. Oh. Run away. Here comes Zeri. As he still has an insane amount of damage, but this is Poppy and this is Zeri. Ruler still on the hunt here with Peanut leading the charge. Can't actually walk up. Uh, Peanut? Yeah, he's just trying to front line for the Zeri. That's well, they can't get do. Nash. The right thing. Well, they can, kind of, but they can't. Take his fifth they can. Kill. <laughs> and overall, no objective gets taken. We continue. Um, we continue, yeah. Uh, nothing really happening. Um, Genji, of course, got the got the first Drake, so we're free and free again. And... I think they can just take Baron yeah. now. Which it's is really very awkward to just start Nash though. Maybe they don't want to take the risk, but, like, but they're gonna do it. Look at this oh, they're gonna one shot him. The damage you have available. Not afraid of this one at all. Just gonna pick up the Baron here. I think they were worried of so uh, no enemy team coming out top side after base and then Showmaker TPing. But uh, yeah, yeah, no problem. This, this is late. <laughs> <laughs> it's late. As um, as you put so eloquently, if there is no Zeri moment, create your own. Be in control of your own destiny. Even with the extra movement speed and the flash being used, uh, it's not enough for Dumbo Kia. And then here we have another scenario where uh, going hard on La Hands with the exhaust, combined with the fact that the actual damage isn't there yet, uh, makes Ken look rather silly. And then we see the DPS that is available, but it just it isn't enough. Uh, there's a Lulu. Ruler throughout all of this is full health. That's how little he cares. Though. Yeah, Canyon's on a budget this game. Like, the actual Sadly. threat on this team is still completely full even still as phone plating up yeah. shall we grass rabidons that's huge actually he's kind of matching rise in items but he's not matching zeri well at least they have the nami zeri uh, who has healed by the way level as, 18 yeah, the push Lulu. is coming in with the baron uh -huh. low extendo beam Pew. Lux -lux. here it comes bang but it just feels like it will eventually happen yeah we're just gonna step up he's level 18 Problem. now front lining just a bit, having some fun. Hitting Canyon the screen away for 800. That's okay, nice little flank comes in. Oh. Doran just, where did he Instantly go? dead. <laughs> the oh, well, well, there he goes. It disappeared in the water. Damon need to Down establish Drake control now. Poor Somehow, Doran, they have to He's push out waves and get some vision bot side. Four. But he is critical to actually making this a late uh -oh. game juggernaut for Gen G. Uh -oh. And there you see. Now Death Cap is finished oh, for Oh, Nugri, don't die. And she's not messing around. Uh, oh, that's a death brush. That's a death brush. <laughs> 50 seconds still I mean, Drake. Oh, they oh have no, vision. oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, they actually dead. got that stun. He's so dead. Cringe. No way for him to get out of this one as Shovey <laughs> goes one way. Kenny goes the other. Uh, they'll get Infernal Soul. To do. This should be, is it going to be four Infernal Drakes, Infernal Soul, Soul Zeri? One W, one for the... Oh! oh Talk He's like, yeah, bring it on. I've got a... The bubble landed. But where's the damage? Forward. You gotta be kidding me, He's man. still alive. Zeri Full HP. Point, Inbound. Full build going in. Zeri! Going Zeri! 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 One. Straight into that back line. Three Just of them go down. Make remove that it. a quadra. Remove it, remove it, remove it, remove it. Ruler has a true Zeri moment very late in the game, but it still counts. 12 remove to 7. It. Genji will eventually end this series with a win tonight. It's 2 to 1. They do remove drop it. a game Riot. once again to Dalmonkia, but it does not matter. Stop a win it. is a win, and they will hold on to first. Stop it.